In this video, I'll show you how you can install WordPress to Hostinger. If you're curious what this is like, or you just want a very visual step-by-step -step guide, then this video will help you out. Okay, so the first thing that you will need if you want to install WordPress is going to be Hostinger. If you don't already have a plan, you can go ahead and click on the link in the description below. If you do have a plan, I will show you how you can install from this plan shortly. But for those that don't, click on the link in the description below. Right now, they have up to 75% off web hosting. You can go ahead and click on the link and you'll see the best deal available. From here, you can click on a claim deal. Then you can choose whether you want basic business or cloud startup. For most of you though, basic or business is gonna be fine. You can choose basic if it is your first time creating a website and it is going to be cheaper. It's gonna allow you to create up to three websites, whereas the business plan is gonna allow you to create up to 50. The basic one has slightly less storage, but for a beginner, it's gonna be fine. Both of them come with a free domain name. So choose whichever one resonates with you. Click choose plan. From here, it will take you into the onboarding process where it's gonna ask you to choose a domain and also your billing address and payment terms. You can go ahead and enter in that here. So if you just wanna try it month by month, you can do. If you do want a free domain though, go with a 12 months or longer plan and you can get your free domain name you can get everything set up for one year for just £41. So it's a great investment into your business. I would recommend it. You can then go ahead and click on this search box, enter in a domain that's available and follow the next steps. If you already have a Hostinger plan, you'll be on the homepage. You'll be able to go ahead and install WordPress to any existing domain that you might have. On Hostinger, go to websites and then in websites, you'll see all of the websites you've got available. Most likely though, you've bought Hostinger and you've got a plan before. You now want to go ahead and install WordPress fresh to a domain that you've already got. If you go ahead and click add website, you can then click on WordPress. Now this window here is exactly what you will see once you've bought a plan on Hostinger. From here, you can go ahead and choose the language. You can enter in your email and also write and enter in a password here that you're gonna remember because this will be used to log you back into WordPress. Once you've done that, click on next. And then it's gonna ask you, do you wanna create a website with AI or do you wanna use a pre-built website or theme? Now for me, I always choose a theme, but you can experiment with this if you wanted to. We're just going to go with the pre-built website and themes option. We'll then click next and I'm going to choose user theme instead. Now they have many different themes available that, for you to use. You can also choose a pre-built website as well. These are just ready to go websites that you can customize. You won't have to build it from scratch. If you're a beginner, maybe this is the best option and maybe you want to go for one of these, but just note that you are going to have to change everything anyway. So it really doesn't matter. So just for the sake of the video, we'll go with this tech news blog website, I guess. If you are more advanced though, I would just start from scratch and build it out properly. So here is the website that we're going to host essentially. It is a WordPress website. We can change it and remove everything that needs to be removed. So we can go ahead and do that. But here's the preview. We'll click continue. It's then gonna recommend us some plugins. We're gonna uncheck all of these because I don't want to add these plugins straight away. If I want plugins later, I can go ahead and add them. We'll then click next and you can then choose the domain that you want to connect. I'm gonna go knowledge base hub, then click next, and then you wanna choose where your audience is located. I'm just gonna choose the US, then we'll click install WordPress, and there you go. You just have to now wait a couple of minutes for WordPress to be installed on Hostinger. From here, once it's installed, it will take you to the WordPress editor, where you can go ahead and look through these instructions here. I'm just gonna go ahead and save here. If you chose a blank site, then obviously you won't see this. Then click finish setup. It should then take you to the actual WordPress dashboard. Again, if you've chosen a blank site, this is what you will see. You can then follow this setup here. You've already added a domain, so don't worry about this. As you can see, the domain is gonna be in the top left-hand corner. If you wanna preview your site at any point, hover over your domain and click visit site. Here you will see your current website, it will be live. So you can then go ahead and make any necessary edits. You can do this inside of the WordPress editor. 
You can add posts, media, pages. You can go to appearance and change all of this. You can even update the theme if you don't like the current one. If you've started from scratch, then you can go ahead and start building it out as well. So that is all you have to do to install WordPress on Hostinger. If you need a WordPress plan, go ahead and click the link in the description for the best deal. And you'll see the sale that's currently on right now. And thank you for watching.